welcome to the job site. Today, I am explaining additive volume to some of the owners of our company. Come join us. Welcome, we are glad to have you out to the site to learn more about additive volume. Miss, I haven't had a mathematical class in ages. What does volume mean? Great question. Volume measures the space within a three-dimensional shape. It is found by multiplying the length times the width times the height of the object. See this block here. The length is three cubes. The width is two cubes. This means the base of the model is three times two. This equals six cubes. Now we find the height of the model. It is two cubes high. This means there are two layers of six cubes or two times six, which equals 12. 12 cubic units is what this model can hold. Fancy. What do you do if there are odd shaped models like this one? This is the additive part of the presentation. I have changed the colors of the cubes to help show you how to divide the model in a way to easily find the volume. The green shape looks like a cube and the purple shape looks like a rectangular prism. To determine the volume, I will find the volume of the green model and then the purple model. After finding the volume, I will add the two numbers together for the total volume. So, I see the length of the green model is 3 cubes and width is 2 cubes. 3 times 2 equals 6. There are 3 rows of 6, for a total of 18. Awesome! I will find the purple model and then add the green model and purple model together. The purple model has a length of 1 cube and a width of 2 cubes. 1 times 2 equals 2. There are 2 layers of 2 which equals 4. We add 4 to the volume you found of the green model of 18 for an answer of 22 cubic units. Thank you so much for your time. I am glad I came out today to learn about additive volume. You are a great teacher. Thank you, sir. Let's continue on to the next portion of the site.